Hey everyone, Dave here for Peace Camera. In this week's video, we are going to do an unboxing of the newest camera from Fuji, the X-H1. Now, a few weeks ago, I did a preview video on this when the Fuji first announced it. Now we have it here. I'm very excited to unbox this camera, take a look, really see how it feels in my hands because it's taking a lot more of the cues from the G50X medium format camera and putting it into the regular size lineup. So let's go ahead and unbox this bad boy. Opening up, we got all your instruction manuals and warranty information. Pull the flap up. We got the camera itself. I'm going to set that aside for just a minute. Um, take this out and on um, the box on the bottom. We got all your accessories, I should believe. So, yep, we got your battery charger. You got the little extra, you got the battery, you got the little flash, you got your cables to plug in the battery charger, your camera strap, and a couple other little small accessories. Um, so we'll go ahead and just put that back away as we don't need to go through that all right now. And let's go ahead and take the camera out of the package here and see how this feels. And wow, that's all I can say is wow on the first impressions. The grip on this is big and beefy. Look at that grip. It is just amazing. Um, Compared to, I have an XT20 here, and the grip on that is like non-existent. If you have big hands like me, it's hard to really get a nice grip on it and feel comfortable with it. But again, this taking the cues from the G50X, this feels amazing in my hands. I really love the way it feels. Um, so let's go over some of the specs again. If you don't didn't watch my other video, it's got. Um, a 23 and a half megapixel APS-C X-Trans CMOS 3 sensor uh, with in-body image stabilization, which they took from some of the other manufacturers like Sony. Uh, that means any lens you put on here is going to be image stabilized. So if you buy a non-image stabilized lens and put it on, you'll get that because the stabilization is in the body on the sensor. So right there, that sensor is kind of floating and will help compensate for any shake that you have. On the top of the camera, they replaced the exposure compensation dial for a nice LCD screen to show you all your settings depending on what camera mode you are in. Uh, and then you got your uh, shutter speed dial, uh, your metering mode, and then you got your um, ISO range, and then you're shooting if you want to go single, uh, continuous low, continuous meaning, continuous high, bracket. Um, all that modes right here on dials that Fuji is well known for. On the back of this camera, you got a three inch uh, tiltable touch screen along with your menu pad, a joystick, and look at the viewfinder too. The viewfinder is huge compared to the X-T20. Again, taking the cues from the G50X, so you have a nice, big, bright viewfinder. So what I wanna do is take a battery, but let's take the battery out of this bad boy. Uh, oh wait, I already have it out. And we're going to put it in the camera, uh, we'll put a lens on, we'll fire it up and see how this looks. So let's go ahead, we'll pop on, this is a 16 to 50 lens that we have from this camera. And pop it on, and let's turn the camera on for the first time, and we're going to get it to go through. Skip. Okay, so you can see we got the nice live view on the back of the camera. I'm going to hold up. The viewfinder is, oh my gosh, beautiful. I, I can't believe it. I'm just using the joystick to move the viewfinder around. This is, it's just a big, beautiful finder. I really, really like how easy it is to see in there. Some of the uh, smaller cameras, even like my Sony a7 II, the viewfinder is not as big as this. This is just a really nice, well thought out viewfinder. Um, so I really like this. I'm gonna go take some pictures. I'll throw them up on the screen now um, so you can see the image quality coming out of this camera. Um, ISO range is gonna be from 200 to 12,800. 
Um, and Fuji also put in all 16 of their film simulations. So if you ever shot Fuji film back in the day, um, you could now put those simulations on the your pictures here and the JPEGs coming directly out of the camera looked amazing. You can shoot at 8 frames per second when uh, using the mechanical shutter and up to 14 frames per second when using the electronic shutter. Um, and now they have also included um, two uh, card slots in here, one of them being UHS-2, so you can take advantage of the faster writing speeds of these cards, especially when you're doing video, which I'll get into in a moment. So, it, for video, it can shoot full 4K at 24 or 30 frames per second and 200 megabytes per second for up to 15 minutes of record time and full HD up to 120 frames per second for up to 20 minutes of record time. If you pair it with the optional battery grip, um, you can get up to 30 minutes of record time in both 4K and 1080 HD. And the grip also has a headphone jack for monitoring audio so you don't get this on um, just the camera without the battery grip. Um, you can also shoot in F-Log, which is their flat picture profile. This will allow you when you're color grading in post to get the most uh, dynamic range out of the camera when you're shooting in a very flat profile. And also they have their new Interna film simulation, which I'll throw a sample up on screen from the Fuji website. Um, this is a very cinematic look directly out of the camera. So if you don't want to color grade, you can put the simulation on and get a really beautiful look out of it. Um, the camera is going to retail for $1,899 body only, and if you get it with the grip, it's $21,99.95. I think it's worth getting it for the grip uh, just because you can run three batteries at one time in here um, and get hours of shooting without having to worry about changing batteries. And if you're a filmmaker, having that headphone jack to monitor the audio coming out of it, um, if you're using an external microphone or even just to scratch audio on the camera, It'll give you a good up present how good your audio is. So, again, I like this camera. I'm going to play around with it today, um, put some images up on the screen for you through the magic of editing, and I'm just I just really love the way this camera feels. This is was one of the biggest things I didn't want to go through with Fuji in the beginning because I didn't like the grips, but this has a beautiful, beautiful grip, and for uh, just under two thousand dollars, I think this is going to be an amazing, amazing camera. So that's going to do it for this week's video. If you liked this video, please do hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I put out new videos every single Friday. And make sure you hit the little bell icon next to the subscription button to make sure you're notified by email every time a new video goes live. And leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this camera. And I'm going to see you all next week.